Nonito Donaire, also known as the Filipino Flash, is a highly accomplished professional boxer. He has won world titles in five different weight classes. His achievements include victories in the flyweight, super flyweight, bantamweight, super bantamweight, and featherweight divisions. Donaire's impressive career has established him as one of the notable figures in the sport of boxing. Let's witness how Nonito Donaire become five division world champion. Flyweight division for IBF and IBO title against Vic Darchinian. Nonito Donaire faced Vic Darchinian in their first bout on July 7, 2007 for IBO and IBF flyweight titles. Donaire entered the ring as the underdog against the heavily favored Darchinian, who is the reigning IBF flyweight champion. The fight took a dramatic turn in the fifth round when Donaire landed a powerful left hook that knocked out Darchinian and secured a stunning upset victory for Donaire. The key to Donaire's success in this fight was his counter-punching and precise timing. Despite Darchinian's aggressive style, Donaire showcased his ability to exploit openings and capitalize on his opponent's mistakes. The knockout punch in the fifth round demonstrated Donaire's power and resilience. This victory significantly elevated Nonito Donaire's status in the boxing world, marking the beginning of his ascent to multiple world championships in different weight classes. It's worth noting that this fight is often considered one of the defining moments in Donaire's career, showcasing his potential to compete and succeed at the highest levels of the sport. Super Flyweight Division for Super WBA Title vs. Rafael Concepcion Nonito Donaire faced Rafael Concepcion on August 15, 2009, in a bout for the interim WBA Super Flyweight title. Donaire, moving up in weight, demonstrated his skill and adaptability in this fight. The Filipino Flash showcased his superior boxing technique, speed, and accuracy against Concepcion. Donaire's performance in the fight was notable for his effective use of lateral movement, crisp combinations, and accurate counter-punching. He managed to control the distance and pace of the fight, preventing Concepcion from establishing a consistent offensive rhythm. Donaire's ring intelligence was on display as he navigated the challenges posed by Concepcion's aggressive style. The fight concluded with a unanimous decision victory for Nonito Donaire, marking his successful entry into the super flyweight division and adding another title to his collection. This victory further solidified Donaire's reputation as a multi-weight world champion with the ability to excel across different weight classes. Bantamweight division for WBC and WBO title against Fernando Montiel. Nonito Donaire faced Fernando Montiel on February 19, 2011 in a highly anticipated bout for the WBC and WBO bantamweight titles. The fight lasted only two rounds, with Donaire delivering a devastating performance. Donaire's victory over Montiel was swift and emphatic. In the second round, Donaire landed a powerful left hook that knocked out Montiel, securing him both the WBC and WBO titles. Donaire's precise timing, speed, and accuracy were key factors in the knockout. The victory showcased his exceptional skill and established him as a dominant force in the bantamweight division. This fight is often remembered as one of Nonito Donaire's most impressive performances. It not only solidified his status as a world-class boxer but also underscored his ability to compete successfully in multiple weight classes. The win against Montiel contributed significantly to Donaire's legacy in the sport of boxing. Super bantamweight division for WBO title against Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. Nonito Donaire faced Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. on February 4, 2012, in a bout for the vacant WBO Super Bantamweight title. Donaire's performance in this fight displayed his technical prowess and strategic approach against a skilled opponent. Donaire showcased his superior hand speed, footwork, and counter-punching abilities throughout the match. He effectively controlled the distance, preventing Vasquez from establishing a consistent offensive rhythm. Donaire's precise combinations and defensive skills were key factors in his unanimous decision victory. The fight against Vasquez demonstrated Donaire's versatility as he continued to excel in the super bantamweight division. This victory marked another successful step in Donaire's career, solidifying his reputation as one of the top fighters in multiple weight classes. Featherweight division for super WBA title against Simpi Vetyeka. Nonito Donaire faced Simpi Vetyeka on May 31, 2014, in a bout for the WBA Super Featherweight title. The fight ended in the technical decision victory for Donaire in the fifth round due to an accidental clash of heads that caused a severe cut above Donaire's left eye. 
In the brief action that took place, Donaire demonstrated his trademark power and skill. He scored a knockdown in the fourth round, showcasing his ability to capitalize on openings. The unfortunate ending due to the accidental head clash prevented a conclusive outcome, but Donaire was leading on the scorecards at the time of the stoppage. While the fight against Vetyeka was somewhat marred by the premature ending, it did highlight Donaire's resilience and adaptability in adverse situations. The technical decision victory allowed him to add another title to his collection, continuing his success in different weight classes. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and watch for more.